Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about the anatomical position and the directional terminology in an atom. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as this helps us out a lot. Let's get into the video. First, let's start with the anatomical position. The anatomical position refers to a human that is standing or lying down in an erect position. The head and eyes are turning forward, feet are parallelly together, hands are on the either side of the body with the palms facing outwards. That is, the palms are facing forward. Now let's learn about the key terminologies that will help you during your anatomy lessons. Firstly, we have superior and inferior. Superior means above and inferior means below. Examples of this is that the head is superior to the body. Another example is that the stomach is inferior to the heart. Or another example would be that the lungs are superior to the bladder. Then we have anterior and posterior. Anterior means in front of and posterior means behind. An example of this is that the frontal lobe of the brain is anterior to the occipital lobe. Another example is that the uterus is posterior to the bladder. Next, we have ventral and dorsal. Ventral means towards the belly and dorsal means towards the back. An example of this is that the sternum is ventral to the vertebral column. That means that the sternum is towards the belly compared to the vertebral column. Another example is that the kidneys are dorsal to the stomach. Some tend to get confused with the differences between anterior and ventral and posterior and dorsal. The term anterior means towards the front, while the term ventral means on or relating to the stomach. In humans, these terms essentially mean the same thing because we stand upright, but this is different in animals and plants. Then we have cranial and caudal. Cranial is also sometimes referred to as cephalic and it means towards the head. Caudal means towards the tail. For humans, this means towards the coccyx. An example of this is that the lumbar region of the spine is caudal to the cervical region of the spine. That is that the lumbar region is close to the coccyx than the cervical region. Next, we have the words medial and lateral. Medial means towards the midline of the body and lateral means away from the midline of the body. This also alludes to the term median. In anatomy, a median plane refers to a plane passing vertically through the midline. This refers to the concept of bilateral symmetry as well. An example of medial and lateral is that the heart is medial to the lungs. That is, that the heart is closer to the midline of the body than the lungs are. Another way to see this is that the lungs are lateral to the heart. Next, we have the terms proximal and distal. Proximal means towards the beginning and distal means towards the end. These two terms often refer to tube-like structures such as the genitourinary tract and the digestive tract. So, for example, the elbow is proximal to the hand, meaning that the elbow is closer to the beginning of the arm than the hand is. The beginning of the arm would be the shoulder joint area. Another example would be that the small intestines are distal to the esophagus. This is because the beginning of the digestive system is the mouth and the intestines are farther away from the mouth than the esophagus is. Next, we have superficial and deep. Superficial means towards the surface and deep means away from the surface. An example of this is that the skin is superficial to the bones. Another way to see this is that the bones are deeper to the skin. Another example is that the viscera, meaning the internal organs of the body, are deeper to the skin, meaning again skin is superficial to the viscera of the body. That concludes this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!